The Japanese government initiated WPEI program in 2007, which aims to establish internationally opened and globally visible institute in Japan. We have four ambitious goals or missions. Number one is to achieve world top class science. Number two is creation of breakthrough by fusion of existing field of science. Number three is internationalization. Number four is reform of science systems or cultures as well as administration systems. We hope the WPI program further stimulates science in this country. Thank you very much. The WPI program represents the pinnacle of Japanese science, having achieved outstanding results in just the first five years since its inception. The six centers in the program are AIMR in Sendai, MANA in Tsukuba, IPMU in Tokyo, ISEMS in Kyoto, IFREC in Osaka, and Eisner in Fukuoka. Founded in 1911 in Fukuoka, Kyushu University's main strength lies in its especially active and innovative science programs. The new Ito campus, opened in 2005, centers on a relocated engineering faculty, providing a solid foundation for the groundbreaking energy and environmental research conducted at Eisner. I'm Petro Sofronius, director of the International Institute for Carbon Neutral Energy Research at Kyushu University in Japan. And also known as Eisner, and I'm pleased to take this opportunity to introduce Eisner to everyone at the AAA S annual meeting in Vancouver. In this century, humanity will be confronted with many complex issues regarding our energy needs. To prepare for this challenge, we must begin to not only anticipate the questions and needs of tomorrow, but also to begin researching towards potential solutions. At Eisner, our mission is to enable the technological breakthroughs needed in order to transition into a hydrogen power society with minimal CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. Specifically, we are currently engaged in research which seeks to clarify the challenges presented by the production, storage and utilization of hydrogen, as well as examine efficient methods of CO2 capture and sequestration. To achieve these goals, at Eisner, we strive to expand our Kyushu, Illinois research team through partnerships and collaborations with major international research centers in Europe, the United States, and Japan on carbon neutral energy research. Indeed, Eisner is a world class network of researchers working toward a future in which we can meet global energy demands. I thank you and enjoy Vancouver. My name is Sean Bishop. I'm an assistant professor in the fuel cell division at Eisner. Fuel cells provide a way to directly convert chemical energy into electrical energy, thereby having improved efficiency over internal combustion engines. My research at Eisner focuses on reducing the operating temperature of solid oxide fuel cells, thereby improving their durability and cyclability. Hello, my name is Stephen Lythe, and I'm assistant professor in the fuel cell division of Eisner. My team is working on graphene, which is the thinnest material in the world, and it's the strongest material in the world. It's made of a single layer of carbon atoms. The idea is to use this in fuel cells to make them cheaper and more efficient. I'm Junko Matsuda, an assistant professor belonging to the division of hydrogen storage materials. This is the newest transmission electron microscope. It enables us to observe hydrogen atoms directly in hydrides. We have tried to advance this method to hydrogen-related materials. My name is Tatsumi Ishihara. I'm the vice director of Eisner and the leader of the artificial photosynthesis groups. Artificial photosynthesis is a dream of human beings, and they join us and they open the human beings' dreams. <laughs> 